Good morning. Today is October 28th, 2021. It is a stunning morning in the garden. Um, about 55 degrees, sunny, sparkling. There's the largest of this super late seeded gray zucchini. I don't know if it'll make it, but we'll see. Also, I still only had the two Peter Pan patty pan squash from our zucchini from this plant. But this one has put on a nice size, so I feel like it might make it, but usually they only get to about this inch size and then call it a day. But I had some thoughts. Oh, I want to share this too. This pur purple, purple, gorgeous, almost, well, eggplant really, aubergine. Um, the leaf on these plants has turned and that's so amazing. Okay. Down here is the, this is that cardinal basil looking purple too. I love how there's like little surprises throughout the garden. Like that little French marigold peeking through there. Um, also, I forget if I mentioned this or not, but there is another variety of Black Eye Susan vine that I might plant um, in addition to or in place of this one, the Spanish Eyes. The one that I saw, it's uh, more of a red with an orange border on the petals. And for this time of year, since those are late bloomers, oh, I think I hear bunny. Um, it would be nice, I think, to have that bold pop of color, color instead of the more pastel. So here's the current state of the tomato patch. It's like pretty chaotic under here. Um, Lots of tomatoes still. But I was thinking, in addition to only planting maybe nine plants next year, look at those. Um, I, I think I want to do a couple bamboo running across the top here. So, so that it can really make more like a pagoda, or not pagoda, a, um, look at these. Just more structure for it to, for the, for the taller plants to hold on to. So I haven't seen that done before with these string trellises, but, um, I think it would be great to have. So, just a few more, maybe thinner poles of the bamboo going across the top because these quickly outgrew the bamboo um, like crossbars. What is this? Something's in there. And I don't want to know what. of tomatoes still still coming and this time last year well on Sunday it'll be the 31st and that was when this tomato patch wrapped up but uh, I don't know if it's still pretty warm here so we'll see um here's my sea of mar uh my sea of marigolds well it's somewhat a sea of marigolds my sea of nasturtium and tomato vines, and marigolds, and pumpkin vines. It's just pretty chaotic over here, but I like it. Here's another giant borage. Oh, it smells so good. 
Okay, so I just climbed through those marigolds and the scent has permeated the air and it's just amazing. It feels like super healthy and like medicinal in the best way. Um, check out these nasturtium leaves. I'm just obsessed. The arugula. This is all arugula that I need to harvest. Arugula. This was exciting. Some super late sowed. Um, rubenza. I think it's called Rubenza Cosmo. And more bok choy. I really keep hoping that I'm going to come out here one of these days and see a pumpkin that had been hidden under some of these leaves. I don't, I don't think it's very realistic, but look at these giant, gorgeous, gorgeous leaves. And then more bok choy that's getting eaten, eaten a little bit. Amaranth is finally putting on that really deep maroon color now. It's gorgeous. Yes, today is the most gorgeous day. Corn has fallen. Oh, but it's spread. Look at that. Like a firework. Those tassels. It is a bright one, and I see a lot of cobwebs, which are never fun. Yeah, see, so... These are so beautiful. I love corn. Whoa, okay, that's exciting. These corns had fallen down, and now they're stood up. And I didn't do that. I'm glad I didn't cut them. That's exciting. How pretty. Here's this pumpkin plant that just won't quit. It, it also doesn't seem to be putting on. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Like the zucchini, it's putting on these like little pumpkins and then, and then that's kind of it. They don't do a whole lot. There was one over there, maybe another, maybe two, but yeah, I can see it over here. It's not, that's Donzo. I'll show you this weird thing happening over here. I have a mystery squash. What the hell is that? Uh, here's a little acorn squash with it. It should be that pale either, but I only had one earlier on and I can't remember, but I feel like I feel like it went dark right away. Whereas this one is like sl slowly go getting there, but so this kind of looks like one. Um, it looks like a twin, but the yellow is really throwing me off. I just don't, I've never seen that before. I, I'm guessing maybe it got cross-pollinated with a pumpkin. And, uh, yeah, that's the result, so. And here's my favorite part of the garden this time of year, or in this season underneath the tomato canopy. It feels like a little wonderland of sorts. And I love it. Look how gorgeous these nasturtium are. And I am most grateful for these marigolds right now. They are just like the most gorgeous jewel-toned 
vibrant and verdant. Heavy as heck. They've all basically tumbled down from their from their own weight there. Oh, here's the Malabar spinach. Just went in here super late. It's gorgeous. Didn't love the flavor, but to be fair, I only tried it raw. I know it can be cooked. Um, it's gorgeous. Red soba buckwheat. This pink here. There's a softer pink. Uh, in here somewhere. But I don't really know where it went right now. I got some of my materials out for fencing. But I just haven't had a chance to deal with it. Oh! Okra is coming down. There's my giant. Oh, I don't know what bits I'm allergic to over here. I think it's just the pods, but these are incredible. Much taller than I am at this point. Oh, something got me. I feel like I got stung, so. Another gorgeous borage. I really feel like I say that wrong. I don't know. If someone knows any better, um, there's a pronunciation that I'm blowing. Please let me know. So, yeah, if you can imagine just a couple, a couple crossbars here. Oh, did that break? Oh, I think that broke. It's really challenging getting through here right now. Yeah, wow, look at that. So it's it's definitely time for this to come down. Barely hanging on here. All right, must go. Happy and healthy gardening. To you.